Hi there, my name is Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the TOEFL Online Course, the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and uh, these comments belong exclusively to Benila. And you made a comment at my website just today even. You said, uh, I am Benila, my TOEFL score is 82. Uh, so you have the reading and the listening scores are 18 points. I'm assuming your speaking and writing are 23. Uh, you're, you said that you need to get 90 to meet your college cutoff, right? So you're retaking the TOEFL on April 12th due to my college deadline. Do you think I can achieve it in 10 days? Uh, I'm going to say no. Probably not. That's not a long time to work on your academic English language proficiency. However, you may prove me wrong. Uh, I had a, a TOEFLer a few weeks ago that was in your, your similar situation. I didn't think it was possible that he could reach his goal, but he did. So maybe you can, but typically most students who study TOEFL, if they work hard, they probably will improve their overall TOEFL score about 5 to 10 points for each month that they study. Now let me ask you this. Now what is your interest here? You want to improve your academic English language proficiency, not just to get a high TOEFL score, but you want to attend a university uh, in which English is spoken. Am I right? So uh, think of my course as a a course which improves your academic English language proficiency so you can function better for academic purposes, for professional purposes, and even personal purposes, you know, with talking with people and so on. So uh, my recommendation for you is, is uh, you can take the, the test on April 12th. I wouldn't recommend it. It's going to be tough to improve in such a short time. Uh, I'm going to recommend my 30-day TOEFL study guide for you. I think if you prepare and you work diligently for about four weeks, four to six weeks, I think it will be very possible for you to reach your goal. So if you go to the study guide uh, portion of my website, you can go to the one where it says 30-day online TOEFL course, uh, seven-step study guide focusing on vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. So here's what I recommend for the next four weeks. Now, of course, everything you do every day needs to focus around English. That means you want to speak in English as much as you can with native speakers as much as you can, right? That's a given. Here's my three suggestions. This is going to require about four hours every day for about four to six weeks. Number one. Get in the habit of reading on a regular basis. You can read magazines, newspapers, and longer books. This is very, very important. Do that every day for about 45 to 60 minutes. Number two, get or stay in the habit of practicing listening. You can focus on uh, uh, news, history, documentary, and most importantly, science programs. If you don't have English TV, you can go on the internet. I got two websites for you. You can write them down. This is free. Go to nationalpublicradio.org. It's npr.org. And also go to the website. It's called TED Talks. And both of these websites will give you very good academic English to help you improve. So those are my first two suggestions. That's about two hours a day. Now, as you're doing your reading and your listening practice, get in the habit of note-taking. That means get out a sheet of paper and focus on the main and the most important supporting points of those reading and listening passages. Then using your notes, you can write about the information or you can speak about the information using your notes. Of course, if you do that, you're practicing your integrated writing and your integrated speaking proficiencies, which is very good for you and your TOEFL score. But most importantly, it's going to be helpful for you when you're attending an English-speaking university. You'll be able to function better because you'll have a lot more exposure to the English language. All right, my third suggestion is using my 30-day online a TOEFL study guide, uh, spend about two hours going over the lessons. You're going to click on that. You can download this. And this is my 30-day lesson plan. So you can take a look at this. 
and it does have recommendations for different things that you can do on each day. For example, if you go to day three, it says reading, vocabulary, reading, and speaking practice. Even I have some grammar practice here. So you can take a look at the different lessons on the different days, and I will give you some very good practice to help you improve your academic English language. So even after you take the, the TOEFL exam on April 12th, don't stop using my course. Most students will use my course maybe 30 or 60 days even after they reach their TOEFL goal because the real goal is their academic English. Most of my students want to do well in an academic or professional situation. So my course will be very, very beneficial uh, in that manner. Alrighty, so uh, uh, thank you for your comments and for the comments you made over our website. And all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.